Good evening and welcome to today, our midweek service that is modeled after the Tizay community in France. But it is meant to be a time of reflection, a time away, maybe something to help you get over the hump, maybe just a moment to just stop and be and to remind yourself as a beloved child of God. Welcome to Tizay at beautiful Savior Lutheran Church in Tucson. As we begin this time and we set this side, this time aside, I bring you a quote from Henry Nouwen. When we have nothing to cling to as our own and cease thinking of ourselves as people who must defend privileges, we can open ourselves freely to others with the faithful expectation that our strength will manifest itself in our shared weakness. Bless the Lord, my soul, and bless God's holy name. Bless the Lord, my soul, prayer from the tradition attributed to Clement of Alexandria. O educator, be gracious to your children. O educator, father, guide of Israel, son and father, both one Lord. Give to us who follow your command to fulfill the likeness of your image and to see according to our strength, the God who is both a good God and a judge who is not harsh. Do you yourself bestow all things to us who dwell in your peace, who have been placed in your city, who sail the sea of sin unruffled, that we may be made tranquil and supported by the Holy Spirit, the unutterable wisdom by night and day unto the perfect day, to sing eternal thanksgiving to the one, only Father and Son, Son and Father, educator and teacher with the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, your light shines within us. Let not my doubts nor my darkness speak to me. Lord Jesus Christ, your light shines within us. Let my heart always welcome your love. Lord Jesus Christ, your light shines within us. Let not my doubts nor my darkness speak to me. 
Lord Jesus Christ, your light shines within us. Let my heart always welcome your love. Lord Jesus Christ, your light shines within us. Let not my doubts nor my darkness speak to me. Lord Jesus Christ, your light shines within us. Let my heart always welcome your From the Psalms. When the waters saw you, O God, when the waters saw you, they were afraid. The very deep trembled. The clouds poured out water, the skies thundered, your arrows flashed on every side. The crash of your thunder was in the whirlwind. Your lightning lit up the world, the earth trembled and shook. Your way was through the sea your path through the mighty waters, yet your footprints were unseen. Our soul is waiting for God. Our hearts find joy in the Lord. From the Gospel. On that day when evening had come, he said to his disciples, let us go across to the other side. And leaving the crowd behind, they took him with them in the boats just as he was. Other boats were with him. A great windstorm arose and the waves beat into the boat so that the boat was already being swamped. But he was in the stern, asleep on the cushion, and they woke him up and said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? He woke up and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Peace, be still. Then the wind ceased and there was a dead calm. He said to them, Why are you afraid? Have you still no faith? And they were filled with great awe and said to one another, Who then is this? that even the wind and the sea obey him. In the Lord I'll be ever thankful. In the Lord I will rejoice. 
rejoice. Look to God, do not be afraid. Lift up your voices, the Lord is near. Lift up your voices, the Lord is near. In the Lord I'll be ever thankful. In the Lord I will rejoice. Look to God, do not be afraid. Lift up your voices, the Lord is near. Lift up your voices, the Lord is near. In the Lord I'll be ever thankful. In the Lord I will rejoice. Look to God. Do not be afraid. Lift up your voices, the Lord is near. Lift up your voices, the Lord is If you've ever been peacefully asleep and someone rudely wakes you up? Now, of course, if we were peacefully asleep, chances are we would tend to think that anyone waking us up was being rude. Unless, of course, the house was on fire or something else like that. We tend to have this thought that as we sleep, we're at peace. You know, uh, small children, sleeping baby, happy family. Don't wake the baby. Which often also gets translated with don't wake the mommy. Part of that is we know that we need our sleep. Part of that is also due to the fact that in many cases, our time of rest, our time of sleep is truly restorative. It allows us to stop. In some cases, it's an act of faith to go to sleep. Because let's face it, most of us know that there's still other things that need to be done or things that could happen or any number of possible scenarios that can run through our mind. And that really just going to sleep is an act of letting go. Martin Luther taught that in the evening when you sleep, when you lay down, there was an evening prayer that gave thanks to God for carrying you through the day. A prayer that also asked for forgiveness. And then you were to make the sign of the cross and place yourself into the death of sleep. In the morning, you were to, you know, before you got up, you were to give, mark yourself with, again with the sign of the cross. And there was a morning prayer that gave thanks to God for carrying you through the night and asking for, your, for God's blessings for the day. But notice the continuation in that, and that is the mark of the cross that you are to mark yourself with. That symbol of death 
ends new life. That symbol of ultimate surrender and that symbol of ultimate victory. And so we can go to sleep because the one who reminded us that he is always with us, no matter what, no matter where, no matter how, symbolized most powerfully by the cross, is with us. And will carry us into this new day, this new life. And as we remind ourselves in gratitude for the day at the end of the day and in hopeful anticipation at the beginning of the day, that's why we can say, this is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. No matter what the day may face. But at the same time, we need our sleep. And our sleep, again, is a sign of trusting, knowing that we are in the arms of God. In the gospel lesson, there's this storm and the disciples are freaking and Jesus is asleep, obviously not worried. Don't you care we are perishing? If Jesus was as snarky an individual as I am, especially if being woken rudely, I would be like, don't you notice that I'm not caring? We're okay? Get a grip? Instead, he answers the situation and he responds, but he does say, have you no faith? Faith, trust is a tough thing. It often means realizing yet again, that you're not God. It means trusting that God will be God, and you don't have to be God. But that is what allows us to rest. It allows us to Sabbath. It allows us to be recreated from the old to the new. And so in this time and place where productivity and busyness, getting things done, and there's always more to do, to-do lists and reminders on our phones, and all of the multiple pulls that shake us, jar us, and try to keep us from rest, from sleep. Remember the command of Jesus to even the wind and the waves that obeyed him. Peace, be still. And may the peace of Christ that surpasses all understanding keep your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. And may you know the love of God that Jesus was obviously resting in even on that storm-tossed boat. So remember that God loves you, and so do I. Amen. Veni Creator Spiritus Veni Creator Spiritus Father of
of the poor. Come, generous spirit, come, light of our hearts, come, source of life. Guide our steps with your light. Veni Creator Spiritus. Veni Creator Spiritus. I invite you to join me in the prayer our Savior taught us, in whichever version or translation you wish to use. In honor of the Tzai community, I will use the English translation that they use. Our Father in heaven, holy be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Keep us from temptation and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. In God alone my soul can find rest and peace. In God my peace and joy. Only in God my soul can find its rest. Find its rest and peace. In God alone my soul can find rest and peace. In God my peace and joy. Only in God my soul can find its rest, find its rest and peace. In God alone my soul can find rest and peace. In God my peace and joy. Only in God my soul can find its rest, find its rest and peace.
as we depart this time, we don't necessarily depart a place. But this time, this intentional time, does come to an end. But as always, we go forward following the one who took up the cross and led the way. We go forward into the future with hope, provided by the one who leads the way. And as we go, please go with this blessing. The holy mystery we call God is a refuge for the oppressed, a refuge for times of trouble. Go, embraced by the source of life, love, and hope, following in the way of Jesus, just and compassionate, encouraged by the spirit of grace and wisdom. Amen. Oh God, keep me safe, for I trust in you, the pathway to life you teach me, with you is peace and joy in all fullness. Oh God, keep me safe, for I trust in you, the pathway to life you teach me, with you is peace and joy in all fullness. O oh God, keep me safe, for I trust in you. The pathway